Last week I was not well. So I went to the doctor and he prescribed me a medicine. What happened is because of my busy schedule or maybe the medicine was not a priority, I forgot to take it. And that led to more complications, right? That's exactly what happens to all of us when we just watch a video passively, don't make notes, especially when it is related to our career. And then finally, we go back thinking that my career is not moving forward. So this video is going to be very special. I'm going to tell you a zero to hero strategy on how to get your dream job, 10 steps to speed up your success in the biotech and pharma industry. Now, this can be uh, any industry and not just biotech, pharma and chemistry industry. This video I'm making because uh, two of my students who are ARM scholars, they are from Nagpur, they came down, so they are taking coaching at Biotechnica and then they came down to Bangalore to do their hands-on at Dr. Deepthi Saini's lab. And after the hands-on was done, they wanted to take up a job here in Bangalore itself because anyways, they had come here. So they came to meet me to get some tips, tricks and uh, techniques on how to do that. And while discussing with them, I realized that this is not just these two children, but there are many of you out there who would require a 10 step strategy which can convert you from a zero to hero in the industry. Now, there is three industries which you can target primarily, which you should know. So if you are a chemistry or a biotech student, you can target the biotech industry, you can target the pharma industry, and you can even target the chemistry industry. So these three industries you can straight away target and you can find jobs. But now I'm going to tell you 10 steps which will simplify this process. So if you have a uh, notebook, please note it down or somebody probably can uh, always write it in the comments for others. The first things first, you know, even when I was in my first year degree, I was not sure what to do. So I wrote a goal and that's the first step. You know, you have to write a goal, set your goal, what do you want to become in the next 10 years? And that becomes your guiding principle. It's like, okay, I want to go from uh, Mumbai to Dubai or from Bangalore to Chennai. So you, that sets your direction, right? So number one step would be set your goal. Once you've set up your goal, now that you have the goal, you have to do an analysis of your abilities, okay? Now, these are not your muscular abilities. These are your mental abilities, right? So you have to find out your strength. You have to find out your weaknesses. You have to find out your uh, the opportunities which will come to you in the future when you're doing this course and the threats to your success, okay? Now, generally, uh, most of us just focus on the strength and some, some of the pessimists will focus more on the weakness. But we forget to look at the, the opportunities which will come our way and the threats which will be presented in uh, due course of this uh, career. So you have to carefully analyze all these four. One formula I always give to my students is strengthen your strength, plug your weakness, be ready for the opportunities and never be scared of the threats. Okay, that's simple formula. Do your SWOT analysis and then go ahead and implement. Now the third step will be now develop a career strategy according to your career goal and putting in the ingredients, which is your uh, strength and minimizing your weaknesses, right? So that's where you will develop your career strategy. So it can be like, okay, I want to become a research scientist. So that can be the, uh, the goal. So in the next 10 years, I have to become a research scientist in say a company, suppose Biocon. So what are the action steps I have to take? So Biocon hires what kind of people? Let's make a list. And now, uh, or say, what are the similar companies? Because you should not keep all your eggs in the same basket. So what are the similar companies where I can apply? And what are the kind of things they are looking for? What are the skills they are looking for? What are the interpersonal skills, soft skills they want? And make a list. So once you have that list, then go ahead. Step number four, discuss with a mentor. Now, always have a mentor. And it is very difficult to get a mentor. And always have a mentor who is himself an implementer, who himself can, uh, who has done, been there, done that, and uh, then you can get more guidance. So that will be your step number four. If you want to seek mentorship from me, you, you're most welcome to come to Biotechnica's headquarters. I meet two students every day, Monday to Friday, in between 1 o'clock to 2, 2 p.m. 1 p.m. to 2 p.m. Any day you can walk in. You don't even need a prior appointment. You can come and seek help and mentorship from me also. Okay, so that's the step number four. Now, step number five will be gaining the hands-on experience. And that's what these children who came, these our ARM scholars, they came down from Nagpur and they said, Sir, our college didn't have anything to do with They never told us 
all these techniques. They, they didn't even tell us the theory part also. And we were so blank. And when we started working under Dr. Deepthi Saini Ma'am under for this molecular biology techniques internship, our eyes we, uh, we were re, we realized that uh, how important important these techniques, right? So gaining hands-on will be your fifth step. And not just hands-on. See, uh, what at Biotechnica we focus is, and same with uh, Dr. Dipti Saini Ma'am, we focus on not just the hands-on, the theory, the hands-on, and then your data analysis. So your day typically in our internships begins with theory, and then we train you on the hands-on, and then the data analysis in the evening. So this is how the entire day goes in, the, in your internship. Many of you shy away from coaching, shy away from PhD. Both the things don't do. That's my step number six. Don't shy away from PhD because if you really want a high paying job, you need a PhD. Okay. You have to understand this that I'm not saying that P uh, MSc people cannot get high salary. They can. But the hustle and struggle and comparison with the PhD will always be there. Okay. For example, I'm, I was uh, talking to the CEO of a company uh, yesterday and he said that we don't hire MSCs. We only hire PhDs. We were like, I was like, why do you do that? He was like, uh, you know, uh, PhDs um, have more hands-on experience of five years than the MSCs. So if you are an MSc and if you have hands-on experience, then you are preferred. Otherwise, you have to do your PhD. So if you want to do your PhD, CSIR net is the best bet if you are in India. If you are out of India, you can always go for the different uh, PhD scholarships, which is available. And uh, on our website, we keep posting about it. Now, if you are planning for CSIR net, Biotechnica is your best bet. Rasainica is your best bet, where you can take coaching for CSIR net life sciences as well as chemical sciences. Now, we have faculties who have been training students for last 17 years. We don't have, you know, uh, somebody who just passed CSIR net and started teaching. We have teachers who understand your mindset, who understand your weaknesses. And then we take only 16 students per batch and we train and that is our USP. So take coaching is the sixth point which I have for you. Now the seventh point will be develop a positive environment. You know the other day because Biotechnica's channel is very vibrant and a lot of people keep asking questions and I keep reading those comments. So somebody asked hey uh, you did MSc microbiology did you get a job? So this guy replies no I didn't get. Now after six months again he asked did you get a job? This guy says no I didn't get. Now what is happening? He's developing a negative environment around him. Instead of looking at who is not getting the job, go on LinkedIn, go on all these companies who are um, having their LinkedIn pages and look there. You'll find Anthem Biosciences every week they will post that they have hired 10 people, 15 people, 20 people. So if people are getting hired, so you know, that news doesn't reach you when people are getting hired. But People who are not getting hired, that news is reaching you and you are developing a negative environment. When you develop a negative environment, then ultimately you feel that nobody is getting the job. But the truth is, I am myself placing every week, I think, uh, more than 10 to 12 students of mine into various biotech companies. And uh, now I'm going to do a deal where I'll be placing 50 freshers in uh, one of the biggest labs in Bangalore. Okay, Th That will happen probably in the next one month's time. So that is where very important. You have to know that you have to develop a positive environment around you. And that's the seventh step. And you have to stay positive throughout the journey. Okay, uh, Negativity is not going to get you a job. Tell me, is it possible? No. Only po staying positive, applying, trying, trying, trying newer ways of doing things, you will get there. Okay. Now, the eighth point which I have for you is developing a network. Like I said, that next month probably I'll be hiring 50 freshers for a biotech company in Bangalore. So, how did I get that? So, it's all networking, right? Because people know me, I know them, and uh, we meet on a frequent basis. So, if they have a problem, they will share with me, and then I'll say, Oh, why are you waiting for that? You just come to me, I'll help you. So, that's how you develop a network, right? Your network is your net worth, and that will lead you from a zero to hero. And how do you develop that? Just send me a LinkedIn request. Let's discuss and I'll, I can guide you. In fact, I have made a, a separate video on how to do networking in the biotech, pharma and chemistry industry. You can always watch that. Now, the ninth one is publishing papers. Now, students who shy away from research, of course, you don't need to do paper uh, publishing, but students who want to get into the research, paper publishing is like a reputation. You know, reputation is everything in your career. Okay. So basically, uh, whenever and wherever you'll go, 
people are going to look at your reputation, right? Like who are you, what you have done and what you are capable of doing. And when you publish a paper, this these three things are taken care of by this uh, paper publication because now you can say I have 10 scholarly articles published under my name or I have contributed to five scientific articles. These are the things which will develop your reputation or instantly, you know, click that, okay, people will start paying attention to your CV because you have all of this. So never ever shy away from publishing papers. We also help uh, Biotechnica and Rasainika help students to do that. You can always approach us for that. Now, the 10th point is getting your dream job requires your uh, interview skills. Okay, you, You'll be amazed to know that there are some people who are so good in you know, uh, giving interviews that they get selected just like that. Well, others who are really knowledgeable don't get selected because they're not good in giving interviews. So if you have to develop that skill, that how to give interviews, how what to say so that the interviewer gets impressed and hires, right? For example, I was taking this interview, I think 15 years ago of a manager for a managerial position in Biotechnica. And I asked where you want to be in the next 10 years. And this gentleman says, I want to be in one company at a one designation, which can help the company grow. And I was like really impressed. Wow, nice. So, you know, you have to uh, develop this skill of giving interviews. So these are the 10 steps which I wanted to highlight today in this video. I hope you will not ignore it the way I ignored the medicine. So if you do not ignore the medicine, the disease gets treated the same way. If you watch out this video, make notes and implement it in your life, you're going to grow. So these are all the, all the things I wanted to share with all of you. Please be in touch with me if you have any questions. My email ID is shekhar at biotechnica.org and you can always come and meet me in between 1 p.m. to 2 p.m. if you want any kind of mentorship. Personally, you can meet me and talk face to face. Thank you so much. See you soon in the next one. Till then, keep shining. Bye-bye.